Hi everybody, I had a glazed firing yesterday. I'm quite happy with one or two results that I've got. Um, this hash bars I quite like. Um, also this Kyushu teapot, it's unglazed apart from the, the crawling glaze and then just some blown ash. Um, I left the inside unglazed so I didn't block up the drainage holes. Two little cups to go with it. So yeah I was happy with that. Um, I was happy with the outsides of these, this crawling glaze and um, this was in a really hot part of the kiln. Um, yeah any hotter or longer firing I think this would have looked horrible but anyway folks <laughs> I put some orange slip on the inside but it didn't pop how I wanted it to so I'm going to get some underglaze. Um, this Kyushu is a bought Saladin. It's come out a bluey grey colour. It rained last night. <laughs> um, so I'm not very happy with that. What I am happy with is these bowls. <laughs> these turned out really nice. It's just a, a hack of me over black slip. But for some reason it's got a rust, rusty colour in places which I really like. Um, yeah, I made a set of six of these, but I only fired these two. Just the right amount of hackamy on them, in my opinion. I really don't know where the red, rusty red came from, but I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the bought Saladin again. On a, it was on a different shelf to that one. Uh, Saki set I, I'm happy with. Crawling glaze over my Shino. Uh, Temaku, sorry. And the little cups as well. I'm not happy with these Ascos jugs at all. But again, I was just messing about with the orange. Temaku and Anuka on top. I put the Anuka on quite thick. You can see where it cracked when it was drying. It's got a nice snakeskin kind of look to it now. So, not a bad little vase. My wood ash, I just brushed a couple of coats on that. I'm not, not particularly keen on that. Um, goblets, I'm getting some S cracks on them, so I may have to rethink about how I make those. blue wood ash on the bottom of that one I forgot to do it on that other one <laughs> so excited to get them in the kiln I did a bit of cobalt to my ash glaze a little experiment probably a bit too blue I add some more of the ash glaze to it just to tone it down a little bit we also added some of the orange stain to my um, feldspar Again, it didn't pop how I wanted it to. It's more of a mustardy colour, not very appealing at all. <laughs> um, new glaze attempt. I forget what it's called. Oh, raw sienna. It's it's called. Um, doesn't look anything like it does on the on the picture. It's a, a yellowy colour that breaks to black, but this is just a rusty brown colour. It's a really easy recipe, so I'll keep it, I think. It shows the uh, scratch decoration off nicely. Um, a few jugs. Well, a couple of jugs, actually. One's up there. Hoping uh, a bird might like that one. It didn't like the... Uh, it didn't like this that's been up there for a couple of, a couple of years. Nothing ever nested in that maybe facing the wrong direction <laughs> so yeah the reason I'm not selling these is because I threw the bases too thin 
and then I um, put some more clay on the base hoping to beef them up a bit but they're cracked in the firing um, the new base stayed in place but the bottom <laughs> fell off my Shino um, I'm much happier with I added some rutile to the glaze um, that may be why I'm getting the nice rusty colour or it may be because I fired for an extra half an hour in reduction <coughs> so it's those <laughs> I do like this but it really isn't very practical you can see folks it doesn't pour particularly well maybe the clear glaze blistering doesn't help but not too disappointed in the firing right folks <laughs> quick look inside Ooh. I'm um, gonna try and make a bird feeder for Freddy if I've got enough time on the camera these are some that I've just been doing well I did yesterday a few more hedgehog planters money box um, Oh yeah, I'm making some bonsai pots as well. My son bought a bonsai tree. Mm. Inspired me to have a go at making some of these. More citronella oil lamps. Right, so this bird feeder, I'm going to do, try and do, more traditional style one. Hopefully you'll see what I mean as I, as I do it, folks. Try a pound of clay for a start. Those are the ones that do work. I've had one hanging up out the front for quite a few years now, and there's nearly always birds on it. This is just going to be like a, a cylinder one. And then I'm going to try and make the lid. Well, I am going to make the lid. Um, to slot on top and then put a dowel through to hold the lid in place and to also hang it. Can't find anything. I've not mixed so much of the crank clay into my clay now. I was doing it half and half before but it was a bit too coarse on my hands so I'm using my smooth clay two and one one of the crank. Let's get my stool. In here, folks, because I don't think my phone's going to last. <laughs> the kiln unloading video as well. Hopefully, you'll get an idea. made them like this before so this can be the prototype <laughs> folks to be going on with. Would be 
easier to cut the holes out of the bottom now before I lift this little rim up, but it's too soft at the minute. too much and I should still be able to get my hole cutter in there. So, <laughs> actually folks, looking at it, I should have made this a bit higher because my idea is to um, push a dowel through this and through that um, to also hang it. So I'll probably throw another one. I'll give that a go, get it fired and put it in the tree and see if any of our feathered friends like it? Okay folks, thanks for watching. Bye for now.